Hey guys, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, Kittizen, and here on YouTube. And today I just have a haul for you that I did yesterday. I did not have a video up yesterday because I was out all day. All I had, doctor's appointments, follow-ups, out of town. Um, that went well. They added another medication for the uh, seasonal allergies. So now he's up to three he takes every day. We got a storm going on outside. I'm hearing a lot of ruckus. Hold on one second. Alright, I'm not sure what that was, but uh wind is blowing pretty hard. Looks like it's getting ready to rain again. Yesterday we had a horrific storm come through here. Um no tornadoes, just um some good winds and lots and lots and lots of rain. Thunder, lightning. Um but I was out all day. I didn't get back in until 7, after 7 last night. So, therefore no video last night. So I'm just going to bring you a haul that I did yesterday. Get out. First thing I want to show you is this beauty. She's heavy. I thought it was silver. Because it holds candles. I'm sure they make dripless candles for this very tarnished and I thought oh maybe it's silver I don't know but I got it for $5.99 plus my 15% discount but this morning I decided to try my cleaner on it now I figured out it's not silver it is stainless steel um this took me I don't know if you can see the difference there how beautiful that little swipe in the center is um all that tarnish is gone and I'm going to put this on the floor so it doesn't hit my TV and crack it. So if anybody's interested in a really good stainless steel cleaner, I got this because I have a stainless steel Gucci belt that I've owned myself for probably 20 plus years. It's vintage and I wanted to get it cleaned up, but it's got some also some, I don't know, oxidation. Um, it needs a little bit more than what I know how to do, at least now, for now anyway. But for a stainless steel cleaner, this is what I use right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, works wonders, works fast. So this little baby is going to get cleaned up. And maybe someday I'll have a cabin in the woods and that would look just awesome in it. I'll find a place here. But anyway, let's get on to the haul. Um... Not a bunch of great stuff, but some good stuff. And cost of goods, I don't know. I bought, like I got a few things for me. They Sometimes they have pallets of new items. Like last month I went, they had a pallet of those uh, robot vacuum cleaners. And man, I wish I'd have got one. Because I could run it at night when the dogs are upstairs and asleep. But I didn't. So I didn't get one, but yesterday they had pallets of electric cobalt weed eaters. Five-year warranty. Um, it takes attachments, quick uh, on and off with the cutting thing, and it's got an like 18-inch cut path. So anyway, I got one of those for me because I can't handle the gas when it's too heavy for me. So cost of goods, still I'm at or under $3.00. Um, for everything I got. Now, I did pick these boots up because they're Sorrells and I have never found them in the wild. They're cute and I'm going to go ahead and list them because you know I'm sure it's still cold in Alaska. Nice though. Nice pair of boots and I need glasses because <laughs> I'm blind. All right, so these are size nine, USA size nine, women's size nine. So, yeah, they need to be just uh, cleaned up. The quilted part needs to be cleaned up. Um, and there's some suede, but they're just really nice boots. So, 
I was happy I finally found those. I'm hoping that she put them all in the same bag. All right, these I found. Zara Woman. Don't normally pick them up, but these were great. All leather. Chain across the front loafers. This I can polish up real nice. And they're, they're going to be a very nice shoe. Size 41. Um, Zara Woman. So these will be really nice once cleaned up. And let's see. I got these only because I know my daughter and her friends like them. They're Forever 21s. Green was half off this day, so I paid uh, less than $3 for them. Um, but they're Forever 21. They're brand new um, Espadrille wedges. U.S. size 6, which I know was a hard sell. Um, but my daughter is a six and a half, so I'm sure they'll sell. They're brand new, size six. And I loved these. I don't normally pick up Bandolino either. These are an olive green suede, um, just a little heel, excellent condition. They're in very good condition. And they are a size, they are leather, and they are a size seven medium. And they are the B. Darlette. But they are suede, leather, very nice condition. I did say the size, right? Size seven, yeah. I really, I have barely ever hit the clothes anymore. I don't know what that deal is. Okay. Everyone says pick up pleaser shoes. I think they said pleaser shoes. So I found a pair. They're kind of boring. I guess these are what they call stripper shoes. Um, but they were also half price on this day. But these are like brand new. Um, God, I could never wear these even on a good day. I'm trying to see what size they are. Size 10. Yeah. Bright red, looks like patent leather, but it's all man-made. The brand Pleaser, brand new, size 10. And these, I looked up while I was there. They're called Pazo. These are also brand new. I believe they're leather. Well, they're not brand, brand new. It looks like they've been worn maybe a little bit. Made in Brazil. Um, eight and a half medium. Just a nice, nice flat. It's got this little stretch thing here. Um, looks like they might have been worn once or twice. By the time I clean them, you won't be able to tell they've been worn at all. Um, and I believe these brought in a decent amount. But nice pair of shoes. Tell you what size. Eight and a half medium. One down. Okay. I got another... Laurel Birch bag. This one has doggies. It's orange and blue. Excellent condition. One side has a little mirror. And the other side has a little doggy. Um, I don't see any marks. Any nothing. It has a side pocket here, also with a picture. 
of, I think, cats on here. Yeah, her traditional cat logo because she's really into cats. So I have that tote. <clears throat> and I also picked this up because Chopani seems to sell well. This is a convertible um, fold-over backpack. Um, I'm not quite sure how to convert it, but it converts to a backpack or, or a shoulder bag, just like this. Great shape. Let me undo it for you here. I'm really having issues with this phone and the recording, and I gotta learn to use that iPhone, but my kids won't give me the time of day. Okay, so here's the long version of it. Back version, so you got a zip front pocket with that nice gray interior. You've also got a zip back pocket. And there are slip pockets and a zipper pocket on the inside. Let me just turn it inside out for you. This is nice. I like Chapani bags. Probably saying it wrong, but I mean, it has just, I mean, you can barely tell that it's been used. But it's got a zipper pocket there and it's got slip pockets on this side. So this is a really nice bag too. Oh yeah. Mr. Ollie, he had to have these shorts. And they are the cutest shorts ever and they were his size. And they are Trust Styles Supply Company. I don't know. Cute. So those are for Ollie. <coughs> Goodness. All right, I got some Antonio Milani snakeskin. I think they're leather. Leather and rhinestone uh, sandals. They're cute. They are size 8. If they were worn, it was like once. <laughs> I mean, they, they're really, they're a cute uh, thong sandal. Size 8. Still has the tags and everything on it. Antonio Milani. Silver. And I thought this was a good brand, but it's eh, it's like bread and butter. Chinook. Is that how you pronounce it? This is for kids. So it's going in Ollie's closet. Um, I don't think they're his size. Actually, they are, but I don't know. I guess this could be a boy's shoe. They're size two. Um, and they're in good condition. Once I clean the bottoms of them, they won't be dirty. Tops of them are great. And these I was really happy about. I found a pair of notes, nails. No eights. I don't know how to pronounce them. Um, I believe they're leather. They're made in Brazil. And these, unless you see toe prints in the camera, these are brand spanking new. A pair of Naotes. It's got a burgundy patent leather sandal. There's a bottom. I do not think that they have ever ever been worn. Size 38. They're the Naotes. Very nice shoe. And there they are. I don't see any toe prints. I don't think they've ever been used. Um, beautiful pair of shoes. These sell for good money. Happy about those. And I sent Ollie on the hunt for his shoe. I can find the other one. I guess we'll get to it when we get to it. These are all mixed up. Alright, so lo and behold, Sosini. Is that how you pronounce that? 
I got two pairs of these um, for kids. The blue tinnies, they're in really good condition. Um, one of them is they're two different sizes. I've got a size nine and I've got a size 10, I believe. Yeah, one's a nine, one's a 10. Um, both Saucony, I'm pretty sure that's a good brand. So these are gonna go in Ollie's closet. Oh gosh. So stiff. Okay, I got these little baby Keens. I am selling the heck out of Keens right now. I found one and I couldn't find the other one. So I put Ollie on the hunt for the other one and he found it. So I got both of them. They just need a clean up. Um, but Keens are selling like crazy for me. And um, so I'm gonna get these cleaned up and get them in his closet. And his kid is in. This is another one I had him hunt for and he couldn't find it. And then I went right back over there and I found it. And he says, but they're all black. It's hard to see. And I said, yeah, I know. Because <laughs> we were in that. Our Goodwill separates them by colors. You know, black and red and mixed. These are Manitonkas. Ankle booties with the feathers. Excellent condition. And they are a size seven. Um, they have been worn only because the um, Manitonka on the inside has has a little bit of wear but on the outside you can't tell I wish these were my size because man these are some comfortable shoes I don't know if you can tell there's just a little bit of wear on the Manitonka right here at the heel um, anyway feathers cute Different, excellent condition, Manitonkas. Now these, I cannot find anywhere on Poshmark. Can't find anywhere on Poshmark. So I looked them up on Google, and not Google Lens, but Google. Um, these are size 38, high top tinny, leather tinny shoes. Um, Linder. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Linder. Probably not. It's L I N D E R. Nice pair of leather, white, beautiful shoes. Missing a shoelace. So I'm going to have to get shoelaces, but they're just white. Um, but when I looked them up on Google, they were not cheap. Um, but I can't find any on Poshmark. And you know, if they were worn, which I don't think they were, I know that it looks like there's a little dirt on the bottom, but they show absolutely no, no signs of wear, no scuffing, no, not really any creasing. And they look like maybe they were tried on and maybe walked around the house. I don't know, am I losing my Man, I hate this phone. I will seriously need to learn how to use it. Darn iPhone. We'll just get through what we can get through with what my phone will allow me to. Okay. Enzo. Angolini. Yeah, can't spell that right. Cute loafers. Decent price. Probably in the 30 range, 30, 35 range. Um, leather, a size seven and a half, excellent condition. Um, just excellent condition. And they are so cute. I believe they're leather. Yes, leather upper and leather sole, made in Brazil, and it's the Liberty. Love these. Turquoise and browns and, yeah. These may have been worn once or twice, um, but they're just 
Beautiful shoes. Cute shoes for summer. And I only buy Nikes if I look them up. I did look these up and they go for quite a bit. Um, and they were in really good shape, so I didn't, I'm not going to have to do hardly anything to them. I am going to clean them. I'm going to wash them. They're a youth size six and a half, which means I know that they would fit, probably fit me as a seven and a half, eight woman's. Um, actually, I did buy a pair of Pumas in men's that fit me. Yeah, they fit me, and I'm a size seven and a half, eight, and these are youth six and a half. So I guess I'll advertise them that way. But these um, also brought in uh, quite a bit of money, and I'll give you the number. Um, it's eight eight one nine four one. Because I can't remember the exact name of them. Yeah, I need more shoes like I hold in my hand. I just can't seem to get myself out of the shoes and the and the purses. I just there's another pair of Nikes that were um, running very high. Um, these do need to be cleaned. There's some dirt even like up here that I need to get out. Nike Air. I'm thinking this might have been the runner one. I'm not really sure. Um, but this number is size US 8.5. And, and I believe they're men's 8.5. I could double check if anybody's interested. But they're the Nike Airs. Um, they're going to clean up just beautifully. Um, and these were still going for, I think, around a hundred bucks, if I remember right. Oops, there's the other Salsini shoe for kids. Oh, yeah, she's got my shoes mixed up. All right. Dinescos. These were in really good condition. And these are just a, a patent leather, I believe. I believe they're leather. Yes. Leather balance, size 39. So it's patent leather. It's just a loafer with a very small heel. Dansko. Um, they just need a shine. A cleaning and a shine. And they will be great. No flaws, no heel drag, no nothing. Great pair of dance goes. Now, okay, I got a Michael Kors sunglass case that needs to be glued down, um, but otherwise it's in excellent condition. to show you my shoes all right I got these Saks Fifth Avenue um, tennis shoes cute as can be excellent condition look at the metallic bows on the front and these were can't read them Size seven and a half, cute as can be. And they are the Saks Fifth Avenue shoe. Um, I see no wear, no chunks, no nothing. I'm guessing they're leather from being Saks Fifth Avenue. But they may not, yeah, no, leather. Yeah, they are leather. It says leather, they're leather. Nice. 
Okay, then I got... Shoot, hopefully I didn't mix, leave something in the car. Okay, Ricardo Beverly Hills um, Canvas Style Backpack. The navy blue, it is in excellent condition. Pocket out here, pocket on the sides. Um, it's got a drawstring opening. And it is in excellent condition. If you can see that or not. Um, nothing wrong with this one. Um, very nice. Looks like it has some a little bit of bubbling like maybe somebody tried to put it in the wash and shouldn't have I could try to steam that out but um, not a big deal this is a great backpack and yeah I must have a fallen shoe in my son's car Anyway, I will show you the one I have. I got this nice pair of Puma shoes. It needs to be cleaned. Very nice. These are men's. No. I've got to get my eyes checked. It says eight and a half, but they fit me. So these are the ones that I actually bought for me, for me um, so I don't have to use my Donald pliners outside. Okay, so they must be women's eight and a half um but i'm keeping these the pumas are mine i can't find the other one so it's got to be in my son's car all right i got this pink vera bradley only because i'm probably going to throw it in with the garment bag and the duffel bag because it has the green interior like that um it was half price so I got it for like three bucks I'm just gonna throw it in the wash and I'll probably throw it in with whoever buys the garment bag and duffel bag um, just as a little extra but it's cute need to wash yeah I can't believe my shoes in his car <coughs> okay I couldn't find this one and I'm not even sure what it is. It has this leather tie. It's faux fur. It has this leather tie that ties ties it together. It's like a bag, okay? But the tag says Argentino SC. No idea. Anybody knows what this is, let me know. And then I got Ollie a reversible jacket. It's a dinosaur raincoat. Um, and this is the inside of it. Cute jacket. And I got three more items of clothing. This is just adorable. It is a Liz Claiborne size six I believe yeah size six and it is a um, jumpsuit black good condition size six and then I got two Vince wool sweaters um, no wrong time of year but I'm gonna list them anyway um, they're size what was the size size small so I think in their men's 
because I can wear them and I'm definitely not a small. 50% yak and 50% wool. Very nice sweaters. I got two of them. I got this one, which is the gray and the uh, accru color. There's no holes, no nothing. And then I got this darker one, which is like a brown and a charcoal gray. Same pattern, no holes, same material. Yak and wool, 50-50 split. So beautiful, and I think this is the same size. Size men's small. Um, and that's it. I think, um, no, 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 the best, best thing. I forgot about this. This is a vintage Dallas Cowboy bag. Um, and it has a few uh, little scratches here. Um, of course, you know, it was probably thrown around at the gym. Um, what does the zipper say? Scoville. Um, but the inside tag reads something it was it's a, it's like an official I mean it's there's no frill on the inside not uh, but this is vintage and I, I think I can't remember what I saw them online for um but it's an awesome vintage Dallas cowboy um, duffel bag with the like the polyurethane handles yeah um, great bag zipper works awesome just a nice bag Put it, oh that's where it said it official licensed product from NFL and the number is 15261 just an awesome bag. Awesome find. I was glad to find this one. Um, and it was only $4.99 with my 15% discount. So that's it. Great haul. Um, yeah. And if anyone saw my ring, this came out of the thread up five pound box. It's not an emerald, it's glass. It is marked. Um, I don't know if you can see that really well. It's a beautiful ring. I wore it all day yesterday and last night because I wanted to make sure that it didn't turn my fingers green. So, let me see if I can get the marking before my video cuts off. 18 karat. H, I don't know, HGF something, I don't know, but this is going to be for sale, I will look it up and uh, maybe put it on the screen, but if anybody is interested in this ring, let me know, my video, video got all, it's six and three quarters, I did the rest of the box yesterday and half of it got erased when I was trying to do my video and pissed me off, so I have to start over. You didn't miss a whole lot, but this was one of the nicer uh, items in that box. If anyone's interested in it, I'm not sure of the price yet, but um, it's not going to be like, probably not going to be over $20. So um, let me know. But I will. I got to go before my video gets off. I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go out and work on my garden today. Now that the ground is wet enough for me to pull all the weeds in the bad beds and get some more stuff planted. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow night with something. Um, yeah, Ollie Bug is doing good. So just another medication, but he's doing good. So I will talk to you guys later. Lily out.